out of the gate, saw sheep. And uh, I can't judge them. And apparently they were too small to chase. I would have shot both of them. <laughs> you definitely would have shot both of them. Spent most of the day just glassing. And then we saw little bands here, little band there. So we made a climb. Only to find out it's not the ramp we're looking for. But we're up here and we know he's here. So we're just gonna stay. So we charge up this hill and we get up there and we're glassing. We get on these rams and uh, we're together trying to run the band down kind of get in front of them, get on both sides of this rim they're on. But yeah, when we got another call, you guys had spotted some sheep, Sam Grande ran. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got there, it started raining, and it was like, not once did you and I discuss rain gear. So we were uh, cross canyon all day, all morning, and never could turn up the big ram. And so next day we're leaving. We walk up the spine of this mountain, and we're going down. And we get about halfway across the spine. And you're like, hey, there's a there's a ram over here. 180 yards, shoot him. I'm like, what? Ram, 180, shoot him. Got to the ram, he was a stud. Yep. Half slam ram. Half uh, slam. It was awesome. It was, it was really, it was surreal because during those moments, I felt like all my sheep hunts, all of them, were all rolled into this moment. And as soon as that hit, like this giant weight is gone. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't know how to describe it. I think you're right. There's no way to tell anybody who's never done a sheep hunt. You know, you're gonna complete a grand slam, North American grand slam, you know, with all your buddies right there. start with the ugly because if I hit one more Choya, I'm gonna freak out. Yeah, damn right. Here's to everybody. Thanks for being here.